At the beginning of the 15th century, Europe has already suffered several plague epidemics, which brought death to one quarter of its inhabitants. The protracted war between England and France rages in its western part. In the east, Turkish conquerors are penetrating into the continent, and they will gradually take over the entire Balkan Peninsula. Local Christian population is being sold into slavery, and in conquered areas, Islam is solidifying its dominance using the carrot and stick method. Deaths are piling up, and many a preacher is predicting the approaching end of the world and the arrival of Antichrist. In these hard times, people are turning to the church for solace. But church dignitaries, instead of tending to their own souls and those of their flock, are living in lavish luxury, selling indulgences and amassing possessions. Despite proclaimed vows of celibacy, they often keep concubines and advance their own illegitimate children. Never-ending conflicts between secular and church powers culminate in the appointment of two popes. Both of them are unequivocally convinced of their own legitimacy. Religious storms are starting to ravage Europe. Preachers and scholars criticize the moral decay of the church. Among them is the rector of the university in Prague, Jan Hus. He calls the Pope the Antichrist, and in retaliation, the Pope labels Jan Hus a heretic and excommunicates him. Jan Hus is invited to a council in Constance, where he is eventually sentenced for his opinions and burned at the stake. Instead of his doctrine disappearing, he becomes a martyr in the eyes of his followers. A movement is born, and it quickly gains widespread support in Bohemian lands, both among the common people and the Burgesses and nobility. Its members call each other brother and sister. This symbol is the chalice, as one of the demands for reformation, communion under both kinds, which is the expression of equality between a clergy and lay persons. Following the death of his brother, Sigismund of Luxembourg is to be crowned the King of Bohemia. The Hussites, however, blame him for the death of Jan Hus and insist that he first accepts their reformation demands. But Sigismund refuses to accept these conditions and travels to Wroclaw, where he begins to prepare a crusade. The Hussites gradually conquer Catholic castles and towns in Bohemia, and to the surprise of entire Europe, they are victorious against all crusades against them as well. Then, they go on the offensive. At the beginning of the year 1428, they storm into Silesia through the Moravian Gate. 